Welcome to our video presentation of the Transformatech WebStream Message Broker and MQ Monitoring Solution. In this video, we're going to show you the UI component of our monitoring solution. Our solution is a multifaceted approach to monitoring by providing alerts and warnings on your most critical queues, channels, execution groups, and message flows. We also show you how you can become proactive to the issues that are taking place in your systems by providing email notifications the second a threshold is reached or an event alert takes place. We also have the ability to work as a standalone or we can tie in with different enterprise monitoring solution to give you comprehensive monitoring to your entire environment. Today we're going to go over how you can use our simple UI to create a monitoring configuration for the runtime component. All right, as you can see, this is our UI. We have on the right, the main panel, which is gonna have all the information that is gonna come up to us. On the left, we have the monitoring tree at the top. This is where we're going to have our monitoring configurations that are going to run with our runtime. And at the bottom we have the discovery tree, which is going to allow us to model our live system and pull in information based on different queue managers or brokers. So instead of having to go out and type in queue names, queue manager names by hand, we can pull this information in for you and all you have to do is select it so there's no typos and no errors. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new configuration. So we're going to go to File, New here. We'll give our configuration a name. So here we have two different settings. We have the polling interval and we have the alerting interval. The polling interval is gonna be how often we're checking the things that we're monitoring. So we can set this to maybe a second or a minute, three minutes, and this is gonna be how often we're checking the things that we're monitoring. Then we have the alerting interval, which is gonna be how often we're getting alerts on what we're monitoring. So maybe if we have our polling interval set to a second, we don't wanna get an alert every single second because um, that would give us a lot of alerts. If there's an issue taking place, we can set this to something a lot higher, maybe a minute, uh, 10 minutes, half an hour, but however long we wanna wait before we get another alert. So the polling interval, I'm gonna set this to 60 seconds or one minute. And for the alerting interval, I'm gonna set this to 10 minutes or 600 seconds. Next we have the alert log type, which is gonna, we have three different options here. We have email, file, or both. Email is gonna be an email notification. The file is gonna write out to a file. So this file we can either watch on our own, or if we have a third party monitoring solution, they can watch the file, send off alerts, kick off different actions uh, based on different strings inside the alert file. Or we have both, which is gonna do both the email and a file. So here we're just gonna choose file, let's call alert log, and we're gonna click add to add our config. Now that we have our config, we're we'll going on to the discovery tree, so we can start adding queues to it, adding channels. We're going to add in our queue manager to bring in its different information. We'll give it, put the name here. We're going to give it the server address. Right now we're just going to use localhost. Of course, we can put in any uh, IP address to connect to a remote queue manager as well. We'll give it the port number. And here we have the server con defaulted, but of course if you're using another channel uh, for authentication or security, uh, you can put this in here and we can work with that as well. So all you have to do now is hit add. It's going to go ahead and add this to our discovery tree. All right, so now we can see the queue manager and we have all of its queues and channels. So we want to start monitoring, start building a monitoring configuration. All we have to do is choose a queue. We'll give it an alert depth, the threshold that we want it to get to when it starts alerting. And all we have to do is hit add. Choose which configuration, if we have multiple ones, that we want to add it to. And we can go and go ahead and see at the top of the monitoring tree that this has been added for us. We can check on its status. So we see here that it's giving us a green status because the alert depth 10 is much higher than the current depth of zero. Now this would give us a yellow indicator if it was 80% of the alert depth. So for in this case, uh, an eight in the current depth, or it gives us a red if the current depth is above the alert depth. And on, on a red or a yellow, it's gonna send off an alert to us. Next, if we wanna add a channel, we can go down to the discovery tree. We can click on the channels, choose the channel we want. All you have to do is hit add, choose our configuration, and it's gonna get added to our monitoring tree. So we're gonna look at this channel status. And we can see that it's red because right now the channel stopped. So anytime you have a stop channel, retrying, binding, uh, it's gonna give us a red indicator, send an alert. If you have a channel that's running or inactive, it'll be green and there won't be any alert. Another thing that we wanna point out is you can get high level information from these two different parts of the tree. So in the alert config, you can get information for the entire configuration. So here we have a red indicator because we know, because there's an error somewhere on a queue manager. So all you have to do is hit this button to view the different queue managers that have errors. So we can see that's QM1. So we can go to that queue manager to get more detailed information. We see that we still have a red indicator. We have three buttons here. One to check the error queues. We don't have any. One to check warning queues. None of those. Or we can check warning error channels and we can see that we have one that is currently errored. 
Thanks for watching this video on Webster Message Broker and MQ Monitoring from Transforma Tech Inc. Be sure to check out our other videos, including how you can set up a monitoring configuration for Webster Message Broker. You can go to our website at www.transformatech.com for more information about the product and how you can purchase. You can also email us at sales at transformatech.com for purchasing information. Or if you're a current user, you can email us at support at transformatech.com with any questions or concerns. Thank you.